What's up guys, my name is Pro and welcome to my Varlamore Hunter Guide. First off, we're going to show everyone how to get there. If you were in the center of Varrock, you were going to run right all the way east past the gates and then you're gonna run down to this teleportation symbol and here you're gonna find a bird and a guy if you've never been to Varlamore you're gonna talk to the guy if you have you're gonna click on the bird after completion of Twilight's promise once you get here you will unlock the bird transportation system that will be right here and this will take you to the hunter guild we are right here and if you haven't done twilight's promise you can start that right there and then once you're done you're going to click on renew which is your bird you're going to go to the hunter guild and then you're going to walk up the path into the hunter guild you're going to walk into the tree and down the stairs and to start the rumors you're going to talk to this person right here variety and if you come up from the downstairs and walk right over here, you're going to see this person, Adeptra. If you have 91 Hunter, you can complete the quest at first light, and that will unlock the master tier Hunter rumors, which I will explain in just a second. And if you don't feel like doing that, then you can make your way back downstairs. And all these guys walking around are going to be the Hunter Masters. If you are level 46, you're going to talk to this guy right here named Gilman. If you are level 50, you're gonna talk to either one of these two right here if you're level 72 you're gonna talk to either one of these two and then if you're level 91 you're gonna talk to this guy right here or woman sorry I can't see hunter rumors are assignment systems similar to slayer tasks or farming contracts available through the hunter guild these can be found in the bottom of the hunter guild that just conveniently happens to be a pub this involves hunting a creature as instructed by the hunter that your player has spoken to until they receive a rare part from the specified creature. Rare creature parts are exchanged with the hunter who gave the rumor for hunter experience and hunter loot sack, which contains various meats, furs, and bones, as well as unique items like the hunter skilling outfit, blueprints for the quetzal whistle, and the Quetzal Pet. Once you have completed 10 rumors, you may climb up the rope in the center of this tree right here. And once you're up here, you're gonna talk to this person right here. And they are going to give you blueprints for a basic Quetzal Whistle. This can be charged with raw meat. You're gonna bring the whistle and the raw meat to this person, and then they're gonna charge it for you and it will give you a teleportation method directly to the hunter guild. It looks really cool, it's a big bird. The whistle can also be used to check your current rumor, which is very helpful. Players can only have one active rumor at a time. If players are dissatisfied with the rumor assigned, they may speak to another hunter for a different one. If all rumors available are unwanted, players can speak to Huntmaster Gilman to have their rumors reset. When a player finds the rare part, a chime sound plays and the player receives a message. You find a rare piece of a creature, you should take it back to the Hunter Guild, which you can see in my chat box right now. Rumors also allow you to cook certain meats obtained through hunting. For example, cooking raw grack requires 25 rumors to be completed before you can cook it. Alright, so the meat sacks and the fur pouches. These can be made as long as you have the crafting level and the materials, so I would just make them as soon as possible. The small meat pouches are an item that can store up to 14 pieces of meat acquired through hunter creatures. They are made with level 35 crafting from 4 fox fur as well as a needle and thread. Large meat pouches are an item that can store up to 28 pieces of meat acquired from hunter creatures. They are made with level 65 crafting and you have to upgrade them with the previous version. So if you want a large meat sack, you're going to have to have the small meat sack in your inventory to upgrade it. You can do this with your small meat pouch and three sunlight antelope fur. And these are just going to let you store all the meat that you get while you're on your hunting adventures. Whereas the fur sack lets you store all the fur. Small fur pouches are an item that can store up to 14 fur. They are made with level 35 crafting, four lauprea fur, and a needle and thread. As I mentioned before, the fur sacks, you have to have the small one in your inventory to make the medium one. 
The medium fur pouches are an item that can store up to 21 furs. A large fur pouch is an item that can store up to 28 furs. And it is made with level 65 crafting. Alright, now we're going to move on to all the armor and stuff they've added with Hunter. Aside from being pretty gnarly fashion scape, the old Hunter outfits are basically useless. We want to give them a purpose, a damage reduction bonus only against Hunter creatures that applies when wearing the full set by 20, 40, and 60%. The one I have on right now is Kayat, and it protects 60%. Now we're gonna move on to Hunter Meats. When you eat Hunter Meats, it gives a delayed healing over time effect in exchange for more hit points restored overall. Players with access to Varlamore will be able to learn how to cook low tier Hunter Meats, whereas better quality meats require having completed a set amount of rumors before being able to cook them. You're gonna need 15 rumors in order to cook the low tier meat you're going to need 25 for the medium and 50 for the higher tier level 15 will be barbtel kebet and a la rupa 25 will be grack kayak and foxes and 50 will be antelopes and dashing kebets renew is a quezzle gifted to the player during twilight's promise she is the player's way of accessing the transportation system Quezzle Feed is a possible reward for completing Hunter Rumors at the Hunter Guild. Ten are needed to build a landing site for the Quezzle Transportation System. Landing sites are markers throughout Varlamore that are used for the Quezzle Transport System. Initially unusable, players are gifted their own Quezzle, Renew, to access these sites during Twilight's Promise. After the completion of Twilight's Promise, there are four landing sites that players can build to expand the transportation system. The materials needed for one are as followed. Quetzin is a pet that can be obtained from completing Hunter Rumors in the Hunter Guild by opening Hunter Loot Sacks. It can be obtained from any tier of Rumors. There are four tiers of Hunter Masters and four tiers of Hunter Loot Sacks. These Hunter Loot Sacks are awarded to you whenever you complete a Hunter Rumor and they are filled with coins, Quetzal feed, logs, herbs, raw meat, blessed bone shards, and the higher ones will give you blueprints to upgrade your whistle. The basic Quezzel whistle, which is the one that I have in my inventory, is used to teleport you to the Hunter's Guild next to the Quezzel landing site. It has a maximum of 5 charges and can also be used to check your current rumor task. The player can obtain a free basic Quezzel whistle blueprint from this person right here. After completing 10 rumors, Additional blueprints can be purchased for 500 GP. This teleport cannot be used over 20 wilderness. An enhanced Quezzle Whistle has a maximum of 20 charges. It requires the enhanced Quezzle Whistle blueprints, the basic Quezzle Whistle, U logs, and a knife to be crafted. The perfected Quezzle Whistle has 50 charges, and it's going to require the perfected Quezzle Whistle blueprint, enhanced Quezzle Whistle, and redwood logs, and a knife. Now I'm going to go over all the hunter pets and the level requirements in order to hunt them. The Jerboa at level 39, the Fennec Fox at level 57, Sunlight Moths will be available at 65, Moonlight at 75, Sunlight Antelopes at 72, and Moonlight Antelopes at 91. Mountain Salamanders at 79. Moths, they will be like butterflies, but they can give you buffs on up to three random players in a 3x3 three three radius around you. Sunlight Moths will heal you while Moonlight Moths will restore prayer points. You can also use the Moths to make tradable 2-dose AoE potions that have the same effect. Antelopes will also come in the Sunlight and Moonlight variants. Sunlight can be hunted at level 72 and Moonlight level 91. You will be hunting these guys for their meat and horns. You're going to upgrade your hunter crossbow using your sunlight antelope horns. The upgraded version will require 66 range and 50 hunter to use and 74 fletching to craft. It comes with plus 79 range accuracy along with the remaining along with a 3 tick attack speed on rapid. It also lets you use the new type of bolts crafted from the Sunlight Antelope Horns with a powerful plus 55 range strength bonus and Moonlight Antelope Horns with a plus 60 range strength bonus. Mixed Hide Armor is a set of ranged armor obtained by either crafting them with the crafting skill or by supplying the correct materials to Pelham in the Hunter's Guild. 
requiring level 60 range and 50 defense. The armor set boosts some melee strength bonuses that complement the Hunter Spear. The Hunter Spear is a thrown weapon that requires level 55 range and 30 strength to equip. The spears are crafted in bunches of fives with five Jerboa tells, a teak log, and five hunter spear tips. Uniquely, the spear uses the player's melee strength bonuses when determining the amount of range damage dealt to a target. When using the spears, they give 5% increased chance to successfully tease creatures who are hunted via pitfall traps. Additionally, Ava's devices will work on these and also not be consumed when used to attack Chinchampas. However, the feature appears to be currently bugged. I'm not sure about the XP per hour, but if I could guess from what I've seen, you're going to get anywhere from 25k per hour at the basic tier all the way up to maybe 80k per hour at the highest tier, but you're also getting really good rumors. Like if you get a master rumor and you know it's going to take you a long time, so then you go to the adept person and get another rumor and that one's going to take you like 3 minutes, you, you're you going to get a lot more XP per hour. And I just want to say that I love this update, it is absolutely the best update that I've been a part of in old school RuneScape. The devs have done a really good job and if you want to see how I got rich picking up people's trash, click this video right here. This week, it's been hard to get out of bed. She never looked that way at me. I swear she's, she's fucking, fucking with my head. head.